The Queen of Granada by M. Riff Chapter 164, The Grammar At that moment, the waiter arrived with their churros and hot chocolate. Nuria dipped her churro in the chocolate, took a bite, and asked, Is it difficult to learn English in school? Rita had once asked a similar question her German aunt in Copenhagen, who had lived in Denmark for a number of years. The aunt, who was an astute journalist and fluent in German, English, Danish, Spanish and a few other languages, had explained, compared to adults, who often struggle to grasp a new language, children have a unique advantage. They pick up languages effortlessly, without the need to delve into grammar intricacies. They even acquire the language without any trace of an accent, a feat that to adults can seem as challenging as scaling a sheer wall. The key to children's success lies in their boundless curiosity and their willingness to keep trying, over and over again. In contrast, as adults, our curiosity can dwindle and burn out over years of formal education. For some children, enduring the monotony of sitting in a classroom day after day, following a rigid curriculum, can feel as daunting as a never-ending desert trek. In other words, instead of teaching children how to look for the needle, the school system smothers children's curiosity under giant haystacks. So, it is not surprising that some children develop contempt for school and drop out, only to later regret that they had missed a great opportunity to acquire several languages, when they had had the skills to do it as a child. Rita looked at Nuria. The little girl had the advantage to learn Spanish from her playmates and English from her mother, who was a native English speaker. Rita tried to formulate the answer as comprehensibly as possible. She gently stroked the cat's back and said, Well, I generally enjoy learning new languages, but grammar has never been my strong suit. So, I decided to memorize the entire English textbook. Then, I could play around with English words and sentences in my mind, deciphering the grammatical rules behind them. Nuria, with a playful smirk, pointed at Rita's school bag, resting against the table's leg and asked, Are you planning to memorize all the books you borrowed from the library? Their visit to the library that day was a bit of an extra adventure, thanks to Nuria's car, she wanted to clarify with Grandma Nara. Rita saw it as an opportunity to borrow some books about the city's historical past and the catacombs. She wanted to see if any of the place names in those books matched those in The Way to the Secret Rose Garden. She glanced at Nuria and replied, Well, perhaps, if they turn out to be captivating enough.